maybe that demon called me up. I'm afraid to answer that. Maybe the taxi cab has broke down and he want me to come out and fix it up or something. Hello. This here is the Fresh Air Taxi Cab Company of America, Incorporated. Andrew Brown, President. No, Amos ain't here. No, I don't know when he'll be back. What's that? Oh, he's out on the street with the taxi cab. I sent him out. Oh, Ruby. Ruby Taylor. Oh, yeah. You want me to tell him that you called up? All right, I'll tell him. What's that? Yes, I've been talking to him. Well, uh, I give him his restriction for the day. Well, I don't know, Ruby. I don't know if he's mad with you or not. What's that? You think he's mad, huh? Yeah, I talked to him last night a little bit. Well, you see, Amos is a funny boy, Ruby. You don't know him like I do, no. Well, I think he like you all right. I don't know if he love you. I guess he do. Well, it ain't no use to worry about it. Oh, show, sure, show. Sure. Well, uh, I tell you, Ruby, there ain't but one way to handle Amos. What's that? Well, you think he's mad, huh? Well, I can tell you how to get him out of that. Uh -huh. Well, if you do what I tell you to do. Well, now you see, I know Amos. Hello, hello. Did you hear what I say? I say I know Amos. Yeah, well, I tell you, he, he's just jealous right now, you see. I can tell you how to get him out of this if you want me to. Well, if you do what I tell you to do, Ruby, you can make him get some sense in his head. What's that? He ain't called you up all day, huh? Well, I'll tell you what you do. I'll get him to call you up and ask you for a date tonight. And when he call you, tell him that you got a date. That'll wake him up. I know, I know, you don't have to make no date, but... Just tell him that you've got one, and the first thing you know, he'll be running over there wanting to know what's the matter. Yeah, well, I'll get him to call you up. You tell him that you got a date. I know you ain't gonna make none, but tell him that you got one. You get the idea. All right. Yeah, as soon as he come in, I'll get him to call you up, and if you tell him that you... You tell him what I told you. Tell him that you got a date you find that everything is going to be all right. All right, Ruby, we'll try that. I ain't going to tell him that you called up or nothing. Oh, show, show. I'll fix up everything for you. All right, Ruby. Don't forget now and tell him that you got a date. What's that? Uh, hold the phone a minute. Uh, here come the kingfish. Just a minute. Well, go right ahead, Brother Andy. Don't stop talking just for his eyes here. Just a minute, kingfish. Just a minute. That's all right, Brother Andy. I'll sit right down here. Go ahead and talk. Hello. Well, don't forget to tell him now that uh, you've got a date and everything's going to come out all right. I'll fix it up. Well, I don't know. He ought to be in any minute now. All right. Don't forget to tell him that. All right. Goodbye. Well, Brother Andy, I see you busy on the telephone. Here I is, trying to take care of business, and all these lovers call up here. That was Ruby Taylor. Well, how's she getting along today? Oh, Ruby don't love Amos. You know, me and you is older than Amos is. We got to help him get out of this mess. Well, let me sit down here. I want to talk to you. Yeah, I'm right here. Go ahead, Brother Andy. Kingfish, I've been through all this thing, just what Amos is going through with now. And you know, I can tell when a gal is fooling me. And that's just what Ruby Taylor's doing to Amos. But well, Amos is gazed to marry her, though, ain't he? Oh, sure, sure. But he don't know what he's doing. Now, what do you mean, uh, he don't know what he's doing? I thought that that was all settled, Brother Andy. Listen, Kingfish, when Amos come in here, I'm going to prove to him that Ruby don't love him. 
Well, Brother Andy, you know we has all got to stick together because we are all brothers in that great fraternity, the Mystic Knights of the Sea. I gonna show Amos just how much sense he is, God. Did you hear any more from Amos since he had that fuss with him? No, he kind of worried about it. Just cause Earl Dixon was over there, he's all up in the air. Uh, by the way, I met Brother Dixon on the street today. Yeah, well, what did he have to say? I asked him how the stock was coming along in the Easy Ride and Taxi Cab Company. You know, I bought $100 worth that from him. Yeah, how is it doing? Well, he claimed that it's decreasing all the time. Well. Uh, he is talking about floating another issue. I beg to apologize for that last remark. What are you going to do? I uh, say, he told me that he was going to float another issue. He done sold out that first one he had, and he, going, he said going uh, going so fast with it that he got to float another one. Mm, well, uh, just so it don't sink. Well, he tells me that I was going to make thousands of dollars out of this stock if I hold it long enough. Well, don't hold it too long. And another thing, uh, where is he going to float this? Out in the lake? Oh, no. He say the value of everything is decreasing so fast that he got to float some more somewhere. Well, if any of it come floating around my way, I'll grab some of it. But I ain't going to pay nothing for it. I don't like him in the first place. Trying to get Amos to come over there and work for him. You know, when I talked to him today, he was telling me that he was over at Ruby Taylor's last night. Yeah, well, well what did he tell you? Did he tell you what happened? Well, he just said that... He happened to walk by there, and he saw Ruby Taylor on the front porch, and he went up and sat down, and all of a sudden, Amos happened to come by. Yeah, that's what Amos is jealous about. He thought that Earl Dixon had a date with Ruby, you see. When he got there, he saw Dixon there. That's what made him mad. Well, Dixon didn't have no date with her, though. I found that. Yeah, Amos thought she did, though. That's what Amos and Ruby had to fuss about. Amos got hot headed. You know, I have known Ruby Taylor since she was a little girl, Andy. She's one of the nicest gals that I ever saw. I can't help but think that she's crazy about Amos. Of all the boys that's been trying to get Ruby to fall in love with him, Amos is the only one that ever got the first day. I don't know if she's crazy about Amos or not. What you mean, Andy? Kingfish eyes done studied gal. I knows him. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here come Amos. Let me handle the situation. Well, hello there, Brother Amos. Well, how was business, Amos? Oh, business ain't no good. Business is rotten. You must be lovesick or something, ain't you? Don't worry, Brother Amos. Don't worry. Oh, I don't worry. I can't help but worry, though. I gotta talk to Ruby. That's what I gotta do. I've been worried all day. Now, listen, Amos. You is right. Why don't you call the gal up? Ask her for a date tonight. If she... Give you the date, you is all right. And if you don't get the date, then you know that somebody else has done cut you out. Amos, uh, I believe you can get a date with Ruby Taylor. Go ahead, call up, Brother Amos. Ain't no use to worry about this. No. Oh. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I've been worried all day long. Let me get this here phone and dial this number. Get the number right now. She'll give you a date, all right. And if she do, you is all set. And if she don't, then you know that she loves somebody else. Now, go ahead. See hey, if you don't know. Hello. Uh, hello, this is Ruby. This is your Amos. How are you today? Oh, I don't feel so good. Listen, Ruby, can I come over there tonight? What's that? You got a date. What's that? Oh, oh, there you is. Well, that's funny, ain't it? Is you got a date too enough, honey? Can I come over there? Mm-hmm. Somebody done beat your time. Listen, Ruby, is you fooling me? 